In this video, we're going to change our point group display order and see what effect that has on our drawing file, as well as discuss overrides inside of our point groups. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna to navigate to our points group, all points, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new point label style so that we can see the effect that changing our display order has on our drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new label style. I'm gonna call this new label style display order change. And I'm going to go to my layout tab and I'm going to change my point number. I'm gonna change the contents of that point number. I'm going to delete out point number information and say display order change. And I'm gonna hit okay. And you'll notice here it says display order change. I'm gonna change the text height to one, so it's extremely large text. And then I'm gonna move down into point elevation and I'm gonna change my visibility for that to false. And I'm gonna change my point description visibility to false. So all I'm displaying is my point number, which text is saying display order change. I'm gonna hit apply and hit okay. I'm gonna make sure that I have my point label style selected as display order change. And I'm gonna hit apply and hit okay. Inside of our drawing, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna change our display order settings for GS and all points. So I'm gonna zoom in on one of our crown shot uh, points, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch this display order. So to change the display order, you're gonna to go to point groups, the uh, header tab for it, and you're gonna right click and choose properties. Uh, this window here shows the display order. What a display order does for Civil 3D is it looks down the list from top to bottom and it determines uh, each point as it goes down, it reads what points are in each group and displays a label and a point marker style. And so the ones above take precedent over the ones below. So in our drawing, GS takes precedent over all points. So what we're gonna see is when we change all points and move it up above GS, our information for GS gets overridden by the all points group. So we're gonna go ahead and flip that down and hit apply and hit okay. And you'll notice that when I did that, it changed my label display style. So uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna flip it back and we're gonna look and see what overrides do. So I'm gonna go to point groups, I'm gonna go to properties, I'm gonna grab GS and bump it up and hit apply and hit okay. And so we've now changed back. And uh, what I know is that we have a description key set for our calc points that forces calc points to always look like this. What overrides does is if you go into a point group and you want that point group to override one of your description key sets, what you can go ahead and do is you can go to this overrides tab in your point group properties, and you can see we have uh, overrides for raw description, point elevation, style, and point label style. So if I want to override my label style for my calc points, to be my display order change, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is check override, and I'm gonna hit apply. And what that effectively does is it overrides the description key set to display my label style. What it doesn't do is it doesn't override my point groups that lie above it. So my GS points lie in a point group that is above my all points group. So my GS governs over the all points group. And so the override in the all points group does not override a point group that is above it in the list.